to the water. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that I ever killed by drowning. She was pretty, a light-skinned, brown, honey-colored gown. And she was about a five, she was about tall, she was tall for a woman, mm -hmm. about five, eight, five, nine. And it's a beautiful shape. And uh, she's friendly. And how much do you think she weighed? No, uh, she would have had a beautiful body on a beautiful 150. We all put together. And uh, how old do you think she was? She was about 30. Okay. And she's a black female. Yeah. And tell me where you met her. I met her in, in a, a, a nightclub in New Orleans. Her and her sister was a two, she had her two sisters. Her and her two her, her youngest sister was having a birthday party. Her sister was dancing with this guy on the floor. And when I come in, she, the girl that I was with offered me to dance with me. And while we were dancing, she says, uh, you, want, you want to go riding after this, uh, after this party's over? We walked outside and she looked and seen my car at Lincoln. She said, oh, you know, that's a beautiful car too. So she had an arm in arm, walking to the car, we got in, we stopped at the gas station. We were on the highway 10 and uh, going toward Slide L. I seen the sign say Bill of Woods. Mm -hmm. So I cut off, I took off the exit, went, and that sure enough was the road leading into the woods. <laughs> and we went in and parked. So we finally got to where we were going. It was by, uh, by a river, a little water thing. And the big, uh, they had a machine out there in that little river. Dredging. Dredging. Okay. I grabbed it by the legs and pulled it to the water. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that I ever killed by drowning. Describe the location where I, she's left. Okay, I left her with her head still laying in the water. Her apple body in the underwater and the, her thighs and legs on the back. Tell me about Mary Ann. She's what you nowadays they call a transgender. She's a black male dressed up as a female. Okay, how tall is, is she? Mary Ann's about five, seven, seven, five, six. She weighed about 130. Five, one maybe one forty. And how old do you think she was? But she was nineteen. Okay. And where was she from? No, in Miami, down in Liberty City. Okay. And did she? Um, you mentioned before she had a boyfriend, or she talked about a boyfriend. Name Wes. Wes. Yeah. And, and tell me about where you met her at. I seen her down in the bar on Seventeenth Avenue, and she had on a short cream. Money's good. <clears throat> Cream and red. So then this opportunity popped up. Mm -hmm. Take her to the store. Right. She didn't even bring it back to the apartment. I went down to the cellar seat. That's going down to uh, mm -hmm. Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. Called the uh, Alligator Alley. It, it turns into, it runs into Alligator Alley. Right. But the further out you get, the further you get out of Miami. Right. And you, you got vegetation. Now, how far outside of Miami did you work? About, it wasn't too far out of Miami, right okay. there. I was in my stepdad's car, Pontiac Lemans. And where did you take her to? Continue down 27. Mm -hmm. Got back on 27. Going outside of Miami. Okay. Miami. Going away from Miami. Going away from Miami. We got down past the, uh, past the, let's see, limits. So I continued on. Okay. And I seen a road going off the main road back into the vegetation mm -hmm. on the left side. So I got her out of the car, pulled her out, and drug her into the growth back there. 
and pulled them deeper into the other path. A little path was running somewhere, I don't know where it led it to, but it running deeper into the undergrowth. It's like uh, Everglades like that. And we ran into uh, uh, some water running. And, but before we got to the water, the earth was mushy. I turned her loose. And she fell into it face down. And how far outside of Miami do you think you were? About a mile, two miles. Uh, what year did Marianne occur? Uh, 72. Okay, 1972. Tell me what that girl looked like. Oh man, I loved her. I forget her name. Oh wait, I think it was Ruth. Okay. She was a heavy set, big old yellow hair, and had buck teeth. <laughs> it had a gap between the teeth, that's what it was. And she, she was light skin, honey colored skin. And she had, uh, like, her hair was not really long. It was, How tall do you think she was? She was about five. How much do you think she weighed? She weighed about close to, to 200, about 170. 100. Pretty, pretty big girl. Yeah. Now where did you meet her at? Okay, down in the crack house. I was, they heard about six other girls were sitting on the porch. There was being some crack in there. I stopped to go in there. I seen the girl, that's why I stopped. We stayed together two days. Or more, I think about three days. We was going shoplifting. We went to Sears. We went to uh, Kohler's. And that's where I got busted. Mm -hmm. They took me to jail. And she went and stayed in the car. And the manager of Kroger's, got, I guess he got tired of her laying up in his pocket in, in that car. He called the police station where I was at in North uh, North Carolina South to drop the charges. Mm -hmm. So he can come down and get this gal and car out of him. They cut me loose. So we were headed toward with that place where Walmart's uh, the original store been. I whooped off the road and back into that little woods cornfield back there. I pulled through it and on the other side of the cornfield was a trash pile. I parked the car facing out where I could see anybody coming in. So I, I pulled her out of the car. She's too big for me to carry her, carry her. So I just pulled her out of the car and laid on that trash that was lit there. So was it like a corn stalk pile? Or was it yeah, a bunch of corn stalks. What could you see from there? Uh, I could see the highway. Hmm. And uh, in the woods is that way. But it's right outside of Little Rock. I, I was about 10 miles from it. From North Little Rock, you think 10 miles? Yeah, it was about 10 miles. Okay. Las Vegas, describe the Las Vegas victim. That was in 93. Okay. I bought a uh, Eldorado. What color Eldorado? It was a yellow. Okay. Oh. Yellow Cadillac Eldorado. Yep. Yeah. All right, what year? 78. Okay. Well, tell me about this girl. What does she look like? She was kind of thin, dark skin, about 40 years old. She was out there hustling. I think she was a drug addict because she wouldn't have been out there. How tall was she? She was about 5'5", five, 5'3". Five, five, and how she much do you think she weighed? She weighed about 110, 120. Okay. What about her did you know? The boy came. She was a son. She called him over there. He came over, hey, I shook my hand and everything. Yeah. Now, how old was he? He was about 20 or about 19, 20. Okay, black male? Or? Black male. Okay. And where were you at when you met her? It was on Owens Avenue. Okay. Owen, that's down in the black section. Owens and Jackson. Where do you eventually take her, her body to? I was, I was headed toward California. Mm -hmm. So as I drove out of Las Vegas, I didn't. I seen a motel and a road leading up to the motel. And I said, there's a lot of bushes and brushes us beside the road before you got to that motel. That's where I dropped, pulled up her body out and rolled it down there. And I heard a secondary road of noise 
that meant she was still rolling. So you basically roll her into a pretty big ditch that's got a bunch of... Well, it wasn't a ditch, it was a slope. Okay. That didn't look like a slope because the vegetable, vegetation had grown up out of the right. slope and looked like you know, it was, you, you would think that the road would just be flat. But actually, the road was going down a slope way. And that's why she rolled. So this is a slope right off the road? Yeah. Okay. And tell me about how far do you think you were outside of Las Vegas? The road I was on was going towards Searchlight. Mm -hmm. So whatever the name of that road is, that's the road I was on. How far outside of Las Vegas do you think you were? Or were you in Las Vegas? Or? About, I was still in Las Vegas, yeah. Okay. But I was on the very outskirts. All right. The very outskirts. There was a couple of motels I remember, gas stations and there. They were scattered to that, 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 because it was getting thin population as you go further out. Hey, tell me about um, Northern Kentucky, the girl that you met in Columbus. So you meet this girl, I guess you're at a strip bar downtown Columbus. I went on my car. I could come out behind the building. You know, I'm in my trunk. She walked over to me. Say, uh, come, come on, y'all you know, keep taking me to Miami. Describe this girl to me. She white, black, what she looked like. She was white, blonde hair, dishwater, dishwater blonde they call her. Short. Short like shoulder length yeah, or a little, no no, early, a little over the ear. Like a bob. Yeah, like a bob. Okay. And um how tall do you think she was? She was about five, seven. How much did she weigh? She weighed about 130. She How old do you think she was? Oh, she was about 25. Okay. You mentioned before that, that uh, you said she kind of had like this hippie aura to her. Yeah, she did give you a hippie feeling. I think she was some kind of hippie here. So you go to Cincinnati, you mess around on Vine Street, and then eventually you guys both get in your car and you cross over the, the bridge into Kentucky. Tell me about going into Kentucky. We got to Covington and then we continued through Covington. Mm -hmm. And there was a park that they were having a festival there. And she heard the music and she off the band in there. And by her being a hippie type, she was to that. But the police came over and peeped in, the, in our car. We really didn't want to be who out of there. So we, instead of going in there, I took her the other way. Right. Around, winding around, they got hills out in Kentucky, and the road winds around the hills. I seen a little short road going up the hill. And, and up top there was uh, vegetation, but no houses. And so I pulled up in the, in, in concealed on the car, in, in that little vegetation up there on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this, this road that goes up the hill. What kind of road is it? It was, it was like a dirt road. Okay. It was like dirt. The grass was growing in the middle between two tracks. When I left her up in there, in that little road up there, on the side of the road, she was like partially concealed. By the vegetation, I left for that.